What's good, guys? It is your host, Tokyo Maid, and I am back with another tutorial series of COD Mobile. Last video, we went through the, the what you would call, yeah, the, tuto the tutorial, so the basic controls. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Um, if you are enjoying this series, then I would suggest that you subscribe to my channel if you would want to see, not if, to see more. I encourage you to do that. For this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, excuse me, we're going to go through, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is bothering me today. But we're gonna go through and look through some of these components in the game, like through uh, the, the different menu options. And plus, this will be a really good opportunity to show y'all uh, an, Asian, an Asian server when it comes to COD Mobile. I'm sorry, I, I was zoned out for a second because the way I had set up my phone, I had set it up as if I was going to play with the controller, but then I realized that I'm going to be using my, I was going to be using my, my hands to play the game. I don't know why, but anyway, let's, let's get right into it. Let me first conf uh, confirm if my, if the recording is, we're back. Okay. So. Let's take a look at th this. Um, this is the Asian server. So this is uh, looking through the chat. As you can see, the language that is in is in Japanese, not Chinese, Japanese. Uh, one, one person says. Uh, meaning uh, I'm 18, nice to meet you. So another person says, which is I'm, I won't get mad. Another says, um, I'll help you in battle royale and then so on and so forth. And then the friends, but no one is on. I'm not part of any clan. So. And then uh, here across here on the top uh, at the top going to the top right of the screen you can see the help section um, from the last video I was talking like we were in season four not realizing that it was, we were already in season six so I'm as you can tell I'm already behind because I haven't played this in, in a couple of months so I'm a bit rusty with the game as well but we're gonna get back right on track and then as you can see here, this is the, the system mail because there are, there, there are a lot of components. I'm not going to assume that everybody knows where stuff is because a, a lot of people don't. So this is the where you check your mail. I, I don't feel like opening it all the time. So I just mark it as red to collect whatever item that I need to collect. And then there's the gifts, but there's nothing there. Your friends, but I'm a lonely nigga. <laughs> and then, then of course, sorry. Then of course, the the settings. Um, earlier, I was the reason why it's on advanced mode because that's not the mode we're going to be playing. Um, we're going to be playing on simple mode. But I had it on advanced mode just to <clears throat> test it out. I, I was just being random testing it out messing with the settings f for my audio because from last video i was struggling real bad and because my volume uh the game had drowned my voice so i had to uh i, I had to fix it but i'm up, i'm putting it back on simple mode and I'll, I'll just be real i'm just i'm not i'm not good at advanced mode I've become, I've used simple mode and I've become accustomed to it and it's real nice. I would rather play with a controller 
that I would say is advanced. I, I would rather play with a controller and get used to all the fast paced movements on a console or on PC or whatever uh, platform uh, system. I, I would prefer that than doing so much advanced multitasking crazily on a, a mobile app <coughs> such as COD, COD, COD uh, Call of Duty. I'm sorry, but for those of y'all that are going to be watching, unless I do another series, unless I do another like series on, uh, not on, but unless I do another series use, using the advanced settings, then why not? But for for this series, we're gonna play on simple mode. And honestly, if 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 you're not if you don't like it, then you know you can always move on to another video. But I'm just I'm gonna be real with y'all, and it's fun, and you know, you know gets in the groove of things. And I'm just I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a pro player. I'm not a pro player. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Okay. So as you can see, these are the settings. This is where you can switch between uh, just on controls. You can decide um, on controls. The, the sub section you have multiplayer mode, battle royale mode, zombies. It's the same layout uh, uh, options. Zombies as well. Then you got your basic settings you know basic ass settings <laughs> uh, 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 along with battle royale zombies so on and so forth audio <clears throat> sensitivity and it's it, 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 uh, in the sub sections you got the same options multiplayer battle royale zombies so sensitivity for how comfortably the the game mechanics works for you. I hope I said that right. And then here you have battle royale settings. They have three different layouts. I keep mine simple as possible. The default setting, loot settings. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> I remember I had mine set up to where I don't automatically loot items. Oh no no, no I might have to reset it. But when it, when, it, when it comes to that, when it comes to pick up. Oh, okay. We can actually set it up here. This is auto pickup. All right. So let's, for, for, for now, let's just um, uncheck everything because I, I want to only pick up the things that matter. Here's the quick message. I think during the in-game, I think interacting with your teammates and whatnot. What? No, I'm not linking. This is for YouTube. Okay. Controller. Oh, here you can select the languages. Here you got English, Italiano, Porto, Portuguese, the Turkey, Arabic, French, Dutch, Rus Russian, Espanol, and Japanese. Here you got others. Other information. So there you have it for those settings in here. You got uh, what you call it. <clears throat> it's almost like a roulette for the weapons. You can pay money to buy uh, card points to win one of these items. Here you got events that tell you, uh, informs you on what you need to g gain these certain items. Same goes here. As you can see, here are your daily rewards. Ooh, I guess we can claim some. Like, so. And um, for if if you find this uh, this part of the video boring, then you can just go ahead and uh, skip to where the battle royale. <coughs> Sorry, not battle royale the multiplayer matches begin. I'm just letting you know, but if you would like to learn through it with me, just to let you know, I've, I, like I said again, I've played this, I've played this before, but I just like, I'm the kind of person to just go through these things, like, because I, that's how 
I'm, I'm trying to get familiar with things. Things that I've seen before, I'm going through, going over them again, just being thorough, so I know my way around that. I may, I may not, blah, 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 I can't talk today. <laughs> so that I weigh my no, uh, I know my way around the game. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Uh, daily missions, player login. And then, as you can see, all these other things. Uh, this involves inviting your friends in order to be uh, in order to be able to attain all these other perks winner's bonus i think this is an event yeah claim that there we go so you have that and just because i've looked over this thing once like i'll remember it now like I i'm always going back to these time and time again and then here you have this season six battle pass Here it informs you of what's in store for this season. They do this for every season. And I think I, d I finally downloaded and, and downloaded COD Mobile and got into it, I think around season two, I think so. So I've been for I've been here for like at least four seasons. But I took I took a break, I think at season four, maybe season four. So these are all the perks. Tap here to learn how to earn battle points. Battle pass points help upgrade your current battle pass tiers. Okay. Rewards earned within the free standard pass. Okay. Upgrading to the premium battle pass unlocks better. So they're showing you if you showing you you know two options. Ooh, nice drawing. Oh, this is like a this is like a comic oh this is lit this reminds me of that game wild west i think play any mode or complete season testing battle pass test has been removed Ooh, let's go thank you uh, play multiplayer battle royale matches complete seasonal tasks all premium okay okay so we we looked at the events the season six battle passes um, the upper right menu buttons. Ooh, I almost forgot. This is your player rewards. So throughout playing, whether it is the regular matches or the rank matches, you can unlock the, uh, the series of items, perks, weapons, so on and so forth. This is where you see your player stats. As you can see right now, we're in we're rookies, so we're amateurs, we're noobs, we suck at this. Yeah, we, <clears throat> for, for right now, we totally suck. This is your achievements that you can earn while playing, you know, the multiplayer. And I think it also applies to the battle royale as well. Here are your other, <clears throat> and these are medals that you can earn while playing as well. And then these shows your player history, of course. Here it shows, you know, your kill kills, your damage ratio, even I think your KDR somewhere. <clears throat> then this is your loadout, which we're gonna actually come back to when we start playing the multiplayer. So we have that. And, uh, oh, we can't open that, but that's, if you wanna join into a clan or look through the menu for the clans, we'll probably come back to that in the later videos. And here are your leaderboards. So you can see here the people who are in the top leader, uh, who are one of the best players in the game. <clears throat> As you can see here, there are YouTubers who are who are the top dogs. Yep, YouTubers. It's crazy, right? KDRs. So here you can. I'm not gonna go through it in the video because it is a lot. And then this is your inventory. As you can see, we've accumulated. We were able to attain some items. These are like customizations. So when you win a match, I believe like the the animated the animations that your char character how animated I guess your character is. And then. 
for battle royale you can customize your loadout so on and so forth like if you want camo on it however way you want it to look when you attain certain weapons it goes along with items and vehicles all, all those good stuff As, so, uh, at the same goes for zombies and of course <coughs> multiplayer so I think that's what covers the basics oops also here is the store this is this first part of the video is where we took a look into various I would say ben benefits but various parts in the game so let's just we can now go ahead and hop into the multiplayer mode so this is a multiplayer mode like I said before we would come and look through it so here we are for the next gameplay for the next COD Mobile gameplay, we will actually do more matches. Still, this is, as I said, this is a tutorial. This is a tutorial, this is tips. So we're going through, th we're looking at di uh, different things in the game just so we can get comfortable. <clears throat> so sit tight, hold on tight. So let's look at our loadout for multiplayer. Right now we have, we have access to just two loadouts right now, right? Here you can title, you can name your loadout. And also you can make it the default, meaning the minute you hop into the match, the first weapon that is on you. And then here you can select what, what character you want yours looking to be. Um, I, I don't know why, but the scout looks so cool. So let's go with scout for this second loadout. <coughs> and then a scout for my first loadout. So, I, I just like my options to be unanimous. Is, is that the right word? Am I using the right word? I'm sorry. I just want it to look uniform. There we go. So right now, the only weapons that we have access to... Ooh, I'm sorry. almost dropped my phone. The only weapons we have access to are the M4 and the DLQ-15. You will know the right weapon, weapon for you just by how comfortable you are with that weapon based on your preference that may sound like a broad answer i'll also say that for in the beginning you won't know <clears throat> what will be the right weapon for you you'll just have to test it out and right now we don't have a lot of weapons a lot so we only have two choices the m4 and the sniper and i'll be real with you i am not a sniper I'm not a sniper kind of person. I'm not. I'm not an assault rifle person. Um, I'm not good with weapons that involve that involves a lot of spraying. But I'm really a shotgun person. Like I don't know why, but I just love using the shotgun. It's, it's a one sh shoot kill. But because we don't have a shotgun right now, I have to cope. So what we're gonna do? And they've already done it for us. We're going to work with the. M4 and the sniper rifle and we're going to play with it right now we don't have we're, we don't have access to a lot of weapons but for now especially for my secondary instead of a knife we're going to work with the MW11 just so that if I run out of bullets I can switch to my secondary and here we have the grenade the frag grenade a lot of people use it I like the Semtech because it sticks and if it's sticking to one part, I'm able to move away from it versus a uh, frag grenade, it could still be rolling and it could cause you damage so somehow in some way, shape or form. So, so I think that's the most we can look at right now. So let's just, let's go ahead and jump right to it. I know y'all are like, hurry up and hurry up and get into the gameplay. Be patient, young one. Be patient. <laughs> but like I said, if you're one who just want to look, uh, look at, uh, hop right into the multiplayer gameplay, then, you know, you can skip through the video. And when it comes time to, <coughs> uh, when I'm editing and when I'm going to post a video, I'll put it in the description where the 
the the rep matches begin. Oh yes, and here we have several game modes, but we can't really part. We can't really, you know, look into a lot of it because you know we gotta level up. So let's just go ahead and just get right into it. All right. Ooh, so the mode we're going to be playing on right now is front line. Front line. Let's get it. So I think right now <clears throat> I'm playing with bots, I believe. I think so, yeah. As you can see, I haven't played I haven't played it in a long time, so I am I am not the best right now. I feel like a noob. I really do, I'm not gonna lie to you. Especially when it comes with an assault rifle. I feel like a noob. I really do, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at how I just got killed. I feel like a noob. If because this is not the rank matches yet, so um, I'm, I can't. I'm not really going to. Uh, I don't think there's need right now to go into my strategy of of what I do to try to keep up with other players. Like even right now, it's not really competitive. I'm just like going around looking for boss and shooting them. Ooh, my eye. I don't know why my eyes are switching. Okay. I bet y'all are like, man, this is boring right now. This is for all my beginners. Come on. As you, and one of the things I will share with you guys is that Anytime I see an enemy, like I said, I haven't played this a lot enough to be comfortable. Like to the point, like when I'm being when I when I'm when I'm confronted by an enemy, I freeze up. I freeze up. Ah, as you can see, like I'm. Hooey. Versus, if, if I had a shotgun, I would be like running around and just shooting folks. As you can see, I'm the. Well. At the same time, right now, there's not a lot of perks, so there uh, we don't have access to any perks. So even when I'm shooting while aiming, it's going to be s slow. I shouldn't lose easily to a bot, right? <laughs> right? Right? I shouldn't be losing to a bot that easy. I don't think I should. deployed the hunter drone oh we didn't even talk about score streaks 
I will uh, talk about that. I'll talk about that in, in a, a little bit. They're really playing as noobs, guys. <laughs> but let's not despise small beginnings. Let's not despise small beginnings. At least for the most part, this um this increases our this increases our what am I about to say? This increases our kill death ratio up until we hit the rank matches. Yeah, up until we hit the ranked matches and it decreases because we're playing against stronger players. There we go. I got shot. Ooh, switch, 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 switch. Switch, 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 switch. As you can see, I'm playing like a noob. And also because, um, I don't know why the 11 Pro, the, the phone case, it's pretty slippery, so I think as much as I love the case, um, if I'm gonna play a game, play COD, I think I'm, I'm gonna need a, a phone case with grip. Yeah, because this one is slippery, so. It's kind of hard at times, the grip. Yay, Tokyo made his first. <clears throat> MVP he is. Ooh. Moved up to level four. Let's go. As you can see, my KDR is at 5.4, which is so unrealistic because I'm playing against bots. But uh, before I close the video, let's go into uh, the score streak. So this is where you have all these multiple uh, weapons in your in your uh, arsenal <coughs> when from um, if you don't know you usually when you kill, if, if you're familiar with card when you kill enemies you get points and those points add up and if you get 400 points then you can activate the UAV here it says unmanned aerial vehicle that reveals enemy location on the minimap and you can it'll show you your where the enemies are at when you accumulate 400 points uh, uh, kill streaks, I think is what it's called. Yeah, score streaks like a score of 400. You'll be able to activate one of these. You can at 500, you can get a hunter killer drone, uh, 700 uh, predator missile, as you had seen during the game gameplay that I used all three of these. And then you have like Molotov at 900, you can <clears throat> use a juggernaut, which I've used before, it's pretty cool. Um, care package the most versatile out of all of them because you will randomly attain any one of these weapons if you unlock them and then you have the counter UAV so that's one where if the enemies uh, jams enemy reconnaissance by temporarily disabling it you can yeah you can disable like if the enemies use their uh, UAV you can you can activate that and that'll disrupt theirs Sam turret which shoot downs enemy planes, stealth chop, uh, choppers, and any other aircrafts. Turret, <clears throat> like a like an automatic gun that shoots for you. Dragonfire, you can remotely control a drone and you can eliminate enemies. Stealth chopper, nobody will know that there's a chopper shooting at them. <laughs> like the, the location of it will be hidden on the map. This is new to me. A shock RC is, is it like a remote control car that you can use to shock the enemies with electricity. Vitrol, a gunship that you're shooting from there, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. like it goes like, 
stood there. Like that, yeah. So, you can be, you are able to acquire that when you accumulate 600 score points. So I think, so I think that concludes it for the tutorial. I'm sorry if there was a lot of talking. As I said, this involved being familiar with <coughs> what was in the, the, the feature of the game. And now that we been, uh, been, uh, been able to go through with that, now we'll be able to just do straight gameplay. And as we're going through, we can learn various things on how to get better <clears throat> and whatever that I can share with you I'll share with you based from, from what I've played so thank you for those thank you for y'all that stuck with me through the gameplay if you liked this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments on uh, any tips that you can that you would like to um, put in or any advice anything uh for the next gameplay or <clears throat> to make the playing experience better or anything feel free and share your thoughts and if you would like to see i, I always keep looking at <laughs> i'm trying um what, what am i trying to say I'm, I'm trying to look talk to the camera but i forget that the hole is right here so then also subscribe if subscribe to see the next gameplay or if you find this channel interesting or there's a potential of growth, feel free to subscribe. But yeah, be sure to do it. I encourage you to because we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. So that's all. I don't think there's anything more I need to cover for right now. But thank you. Thank you guys once again. Um, this was Tokyo Made. I hope that you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.